Well, hello YouTube. Here we are. Another video in the Trailer to Camper series. Well, of course, uh, with the progress uh, coming along, uh, the next focus is the uh, bed area. Now, one of the nice things about uh, this here trailer is you can fit a double bed in here. You don't need to uh, mess around uh, buying a uh, an RV mattress that is uh, pricey and uh, small. You can put a full size uh, double bed in here and uh, well uh, it's uh, good to go. So of course in the effort to keep things uh, stout and strong I'm gonna frame up a bed. I have several ideas on how to do it however I think I'm gonna go with my original idea to uh, get her done. Now I think I'm going to frame me up an 8 inch high uh, wall if you want to say. Um, coming along there, going across and back in with a uh, divider uh, support down the middle. And I'll probably end up adding a, a couple of uh, supports going uh, through the center just to give it a little bit of good measure dropping a sheet or two of a half inch plywood on the top of it and then you'll have your platform or deck for the bed to sit on. Now if I had a quads or side by side or whatever and I was planning on using this trailer as a toy hauler then what I could probably do is make some kind of an elaborate uh, Murphy type of bed that would fold up out of the way or I could just throw the mattress on the floor and call her good. Then if I go to haul something large, like material or toys or whatever, the mattress can come out and then you have all that cargo room. Especially at this point, uh, being virtually still an empty trailer, um, you can still fit a lot of stuff in here. So, gonna have to throw some measurements here, get uh, the width, the uh, length and height all down pat, start uh, while cutting some material. I'll probably end up digging through uh, this here pile of uh, discarded um, you know, garbage and see what I can use from there. Uh, like I said, there's one or two long pieces that I can cut down and the shorter ones can be cut down once more to be used as blockings. Same with the brackets. I can uh, recycle the brackets and uh, use them for the vertical supports as well. So of course going to get things cut and uh, well see what we end up with. There we go. As you've seen there, got the screws all put in those boards. Pretty much uh, st studying, pretty much studying it up like a wall section, if you want to say. Got the little uh, blockings all cut to go in between the two by fours, uh, top and bottom, if you want to say. Uh, time to assemble it all and to put it all together. Time to put it all together and put it in the trailer and see how she looks. I have one more piece uh, I need to build, however, it's got to be in the trailer with the doors closed before I can get a final 
uh, feel for that but I believe that it'll be built the same way as the other ones just about another four inches or so longer so to save you the boredom of watching me I put this together I'll just do it and then cut back to two finished pieces okay guys so there we go got the uh, four pieces uh, in place you really didn't, didn't see us build them on camera but they are well good to go in there probably could have built it out of um, you know two by twos and saved a bit of weight however two by fours are more plentiful and uh, well they're stronger and well really uh, space is not a complete uh, total issue you can build uh, almost whatever I'm looking for well got the spare tire here in place this is what is going to house the jack or jacks in the spare tire and uh, a few things like that on this side and uh, this side here is probably going to end up with a couple of lawn chairs and a few things now I would like to put a couple of uh, supports in it um, basically to give it some strength however I'm considering uh, the tire and stuff it's not going to allow me to do that so I might end up having to do a couple of temporary uh, blocks or blockings in there um, that uh, is load bearing however they can be pulled or moved if you need to get the tire out of there other than that um, I'm just fastening things down gotta throw a couple of screws in uh, both of the front corners run a couple of screws into the floor of the trailer and then uh, well it should turn out the way that I'm wanting it to so we'll keep on going and rolling and then give you another check in later. okay guys so here we go scratched my head a little bit uh, figured out uh, a couple of solutions um, measured twice cut once double check things and well this is what I come up with now I figured if I just laid the uh, half inch plywood on top of what you've seen in the previous clip uh, it would tend to be wobbly even if it was fastened on down especially with the ends like the back ends are open uh, it doesn't really create a boxed in area so what I did is I essentially framed in a, a section that dropped in on top and by fastening all that down it will lock everything together into one large uh, block if you want to say and then once I put the outer uh, sheeting on then it'll give it even that much more strength um, in the future yes I know that middle piece is uh, leaning slightly however I will uh, bring that back the wood uh, must have took a twist um, well it was a set in there waiting to be screwed on down but hey that's what happens when you're working with uh, well you know kind of wet lumber I suppose so now once that's uh, leveled on up fastened on down we can get to cutting and fitting the uh, top layer of plywood now I found out uh, like I suspected uh, this year trailer is not square uh, nor is it uh, plumb it's got uh, some building deficiencies that we have to take in account when building um, it's out about a quarter inch from front to back uh, that I can tell so far and even the walls themselves aren't perfectly straight up and down but hey uh, that's the challenges that you face when you're building you build square and stick it in and sometimes well it won't fit so you got a choice you can either build crooked and compensate for it or build square and then everything works fine and have to hide it with uh, moldings or whatever now this here design is similar to the design you find in those big box assemble it yourself stores once they have this then they throw the box spring on top and you call it a bed except I'm taking it one step further and putting the sheet goods on top uh, this here section probably will never see paint because once it's covered uh, no one's really ever going to see it again so of course guys going to uh, make sure everything is in place everything is plumb level square all that good stuff and then I'll start fastening things down 
and well move on to the next step well outside. there we go she's all locked down and uh, good to go it's uh, pretty sturdy pretty stout um, everything square everything came along as well as can be expected uh, the only downside or maybe second thought that I have here is the uh, finger jointed uh, two by twos um, they may or may not be uh, strong enough however it's not like it's going to be how oh, all the way to the bed on one specific two by two it'll be dispersed over all of them because of the plywood and because of the box spring so it should all uh, work out um, this is what I mean by finger jointed if you guys can see basically it's scrap garbage a wood that they milled down cut these little angled fingers in glued them and shoved them together in the past when I've built things and uh, dropped those things that I built they break right along that joint I had a screen door one of those wooden screen doors one time and that's where it broke when it failed was right along one of those joints not at the wood joint that was a butt joint that was glued but right on that uh, finger joint so to add a little more strength to it uh, when I do the sheeting in I'll probably add a little back piece of plywood here probably won't have uh, you know, doors or drawers in it just have a uh, piece of plywood it'll add a little more strength uh, keep the bed from sliding around as well as serve a another function for phase two of the uh, camper build um, probably next season as for right now, uh, everything's looking good, uh, coming along the way I want it to. It's just a matter of a few things to uh, come about, and then it'll all be fine. So of course, let's uh, break out our workbench, break out the plywood, throw our measurements, make our cuts, and see what Okay guys, so there we go. Got the uh, plywood cut and laid in place. If you notice, the uh, plywood is not the spruce plywood that I was going to use. After some more careful uh, thinking, I changed my plans uh, once again and decided to upgrade to the sanded pine. I know it's more money per sheet, however, uh, when you factor in, you don't have to buy primer or paint to paint it. And I already have the stain and clear on hand it's actually cheaper to use the better material than you're happy with the quality because it's what your original vision was. So of course uh, for now uh, the bed is in usable condition. Eventually I want to throw a, a fascia along the front. However I got to do some doodling figuring out because it's not going to be just a flat fascia. It's going to have some curves to it probably need to get the mattress in here so I know what I'm looking at and then it'll all be good. So of course thanks for joining us on this here part. Uh, check in for the next part. We will be doing some more changes. Uh, hopefully some staining. Hopefully some clear and then around we go. And as always thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe and enjoy.